What is PHP? PHP originally standed for personal home page. Nowadays, it stands for hypertext preprocessor. Basically, PHP as a language allows you to dynamically write web pages. Now, it's important for you to understand the difference between dynamically written web pages versus dynamic web pages. So when I say dynamically writing a web page, what I mean is based off of certain factors, PHP will literally write a web page for you. So it will add in the JavaScript, it'll add in the CSS, depending on different variables, it will add in the HTML, so on and so forth. So if somebody goes to your website, and they want to configure the website, they want to personalize the website for them, where maybe certain articles or certain posts go on top, maybe there's different colors used, or different sizes for the fonts, all of that can be adjusted in PHP. So they can create a profile within PHP, those variables will be created. And then when they go to the website, it will see their user account information within the cookies and then based on that it will be able to grab those variables and then it will be able to determine what size the p tag should be what size the H h1 or h2 tag should be what colors those tags should be whether or not javascript should be added or whether or not it should be left out so php dynamically writes the web page why it's important to understand the difference between dynamically writing a web page versus dynamic web pages is that javascript allows you to create dynamic web pages so if you roll over an image with your mouse and that image changes. That's a dynamic web page. When you roll over a menu and there's a menu drop down, that's all done within JavaScript. So what PHP does is based on uh, the situation or the variables, it will either write in a menu uh, in JavaScript or will it will not, but it doesn't actually add that dynamic functionality. So it dynamically writes the page it doesn't create the dynamic page. That's where you use JavaScript or something else. So this is a very important thing to understand with PHP. Now with PHP, one of the valuable parts with it is that it is a server-side scripting language. So when we call it a scripting language, what this means is that you can write it essentially in any text editor. I prefer Notepad++ for doing basic uh, work, but you could use Notepad. Basically any ASCII text editor, you can write out the code in if you want to. And then as a scripting and what happens is as a scripting language you have an interpreter installed on the server when the web page is called it sees the PHP tag it then calls the interpreter and then the interpreter is then able to read that code and then do what's ever required of that code so that's what we're talking about with a scripting language now it's a server-side scripting language and this is important because all of the code is executed on the server itself not on the client computer so you'll hear client-side uh, scripting languages something like JavaScript where the code is sent to the client computer. It's sent to the web browser, and then the web browser turns that into something, turns that into a menu, turns that into a rollover, something like that. It's important to understand with PHP that this is a server-side scripting language, so all the code runs on the server, and then only the output of the code is then sent to the, the web browser. So this one of the, the valuable parts of this is that it makes uh, the the code more secure because the code itself is not being sent the information about connecting to the database and that kind of thing isn't being sent basically what happens is the PHP will go to a database or it will go to a data store it will retrieve the information it will parse that information into a report or something else and then it only sends that report it only sends that finished web page to the web browser. The web browser, the user, doesn't see all of the things going on in the back end. So basically, when you're thinking about PHP, it's very important to think of it. It's kind of like the secretary for the internet. So you're not going to be really creating video games with PHP. You're not going to be doing what people think of as cool, sexy stuff with PHP. PHP is used essentially for that dynamically writing of web pages. So it can connect to databases. So if you have a form where you pe want people to be able to submit their email address into the form so that they can get email blasts in the future, that would be PHP. So you create an HTML form, 
that when that submit button is clicked, the PHP script can grab that the whatever information you collected, and that can dump that into something like a MySQL database. So it takes the information, dumps it into MySQL database. If you want to do something like a report, so you want to see, let's say, all the email addresses that have been provided to you, you can create a PHP script. It will then go to that database. It will grab all the email addresses. It will format it however you want, and then it will give you that report. So this is the kind of stuff that PHP does. It's just that basic you know simple administrative tasks that really make a lot of the internet function one of the great things about PHP is that it's relatively easy to learn so it's not it's not as strict a programming language as many programming languages are uh, many programming languages you have to do everything exactly uh, the way that you have to with syntax and other stuff uh, with PHP it's a lot more fluid uh, you can make ugly code you can make you can make horrible looking code but it works but it works basically PHP is a type of programming language that literally a 10 year old can learn how to do it uh, an admin assistant or a secretary can learn how to do it it's a very simple easy to learn code without a whole bunch of rules and so that's one of the things that makes it valuable in the web world is if you're trying to build small applications again things like email blast newsletters being able to take reports being able to in, uh, put in information and then be able to run basic queries off of that that's one of the things that makes PHP such a valuable tool uh, because it allows you to do stuff like that uh, relatively easy it doesn't take too long to learn PHP realistically if you took 40 hours 40 hours would be a long time really 10 to 20 hours if you took 10 to 20 hours to learn PHP and you already knew what a variable was and a function was, um, you should be able to learn it pretty quickly. Um, and so that's basically what PHP is and that's why PHP matters.